Rolling! It is a very warm day today in northern Kentucky, southwestern Ohio. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are, welcome to this thing of ours. We have a very special device here, and my friend uh, Bert, Ernie, Elmo, not sure which one, is going to work with us uh, so you get the full experience. This is called a publison, if you're French. If you're American, you say publison, publison, pubic lice, whatever you want. It was designed by the French in the 80s, and uh, it's a very special unit with some notoriety attached to it. The notoriety, we'll start with the designer, um, maybe a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, absolute genius, brilliant man. He sanded off the tops of all the chips so that nobody could service it, nobody could know what his design was. Or, just throwing this out there, maybe he copied other designs and didn't want people to know. So he sanded off the tops of his chips. I have no idea. It's all speculation. The man is uh, has since passed away. He also never released any documents to the public for service. Uh, there's no schematics available. Uh, there's no board layout available, no theory of operation available. I'm choosing the word available because one person has it. Um, and this person has chosen to uphold the long-standing tradition with Publisson of secrecy. <laughs> So yeah, there's uh, they're notorious. You don't see them a lot in the United States of America because it was uh, designed in Europe. Um, and uh, they're hard to fix. That's, that's what I'm saying. Um, so we have, it's a stereo unit. Uh, each one is capable of pitch shifting down an octave or up two octaves. Um, and I think probably the niftiest part about it is that you can change where the memory is going to start reading and where it's going to stop reading for to achieve the pitch shifting effect. I'm not going to go into more detail in this video because it would that's a whole other video to describe how pitch shifting works. But um, you can see if I go to pitch shifting. Oops, there we go. Pitch shifting you can change change the pitch. Yes, please. So the cross point is where we're first going to read from memory. And the manual says you have to change cross point two so it's at least 10 milliseconds greater than cross point one. Checky poo. Otherwise, you're going to get some crazy glitches. Uh, you, you can, can turn, turn up the, the feedback. feedback. Get it's some. So, <clears throat> we're back with a slightly different angle and a mic stand that is probably going to fall apart. What makes this unit extra special is that it comes with the Bublison KB2000 keyboard. Now, the KB2000 keyboard allows me to play different pitches uh, so I can harmonize with myself. I'm not going to explain it too much because there's a lot of parameters on here and it would take me all day to go through them all. So I'm just going to uh, kind of mess around with it. La Yes. Check. Check. One, two. Check. 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 One, a two. Check. One, two. This is the sound of me speaking backwards. Let's speak backwards. 
Paul is dead. Satan. The devil. It is very scary. I'm going to be honest. Twin Peaks. Shit burgers, 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 shit burgers,